up in module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9? Please repeat your previous request. I need diagnostics on the adjacent modules. I don't know if it's safe to open these doors. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Module 10 hull contact points to 12 read false suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think 
Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to nine. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! The controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, are you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Diagnostic procedure. And what errors are you showing? Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. 
There should be a System Link's reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Reinstalling the System Link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Sam, add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. I need to get out of here. Use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh shit. Okay, station alerts, station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. to any module and view its camera feeds, in the EAS arm at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam.
There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way. All hatch controls to your system links, but wait for my signal.
That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. There's maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on! What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? We must have spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections.
parts are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. The CN arm is badly damaged. started your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. And anyway, without you I'm not going anywhere, so I'll come back. Okay, first off. Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so I'm gonna try something different here. Okay, that's all 
radio at least. Almost there, just a sec. Shit, that's not it. There we go. Okay, Sam. I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board. The EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew.